Are you looking for ways to automate your use case within Emissions Connect, Health Cloud, or Financial Services Cloud? Well, look no further. With Forms for Salesforce, it's easier than ever to build digital forms that match to your specific data model using parent, child, and grandchild objects. This can now be used with any Formstack Forms for Salesforce offerings, including Native Cloud, which is a one-of-a-kind offering that allows for data governance, data sovereignty, and adheres to the security measures of the force.com site your org is hosted on. In today's video, we will walk you through creating a patient health information form in Forms for Salesforce Native Cloud. To begin, we will create a new form and give it a name, which in this example is Patient Health Information Form. Selecting our primary object first, our child object second, and lastly, grandchild object, which allows us to keep record of separate health conditions under each person within a household. The legend on the left-hand side here shows indicators for each object level that will be included in your form. Next, we will pull in the fields we want included in our health information form. Basic identifying information is helpful here, but most importantly, we want to learn about the individual's specific health condition. The account name will be our identifying field to create the household family record. So by clicking on the expand arrow, we can see additional options. In order to create that relationship and the new family account, we will need to upsert that item by checking the update existing Salesforce record matching which will either update an existing record in Salesforce that matches the value or create a new one. Also, the end user will not need to see this field, so we can go ahead and click hide. We'll also want to give this section a name to show on the form. One important step to really automate this process is to create a rule that automatically creates a family or household record using the last name as an identifier. To do that, we want a condition that uses the last name that is not equal to and leaving the last field blank. To auto-populate the record, we select populate the account field in a value formula. A way to confirm that you're using the correct mapping is to hop back over to your form and copy that line that references the API field. Now let's drop it in. To give our form a little bit of flair, we can add custom or pre-created templates as well as a company logo. We can also adjust the shape of our fields. Now we can publish our form and see it in action. If you want to save end users time in the future, go ahead and toggle on the dynamic prefill option. All right, now we're ready to test our form. Under Hosted Form, click on the link to open the form. We're going to fill out this form twice, showcasing two separate family members with two separate health conditions that will be housed in Salesforce under one household family record. Now that the first family member has entered in their health information, we can hop on over to Salesforce and see that it successfully created a record for Dwight under the Shrew family account. To continue our demonstration, let's imagine that the second family member has also filled out the health information form with their health condition. Now, hopping back over to Salesforce again, we'll go into contacts to see if the record was created and see that Angela now has a contact record. And it also shows that it's attached to the Shrew family account. So here we have an object, which is the account, a child object, which is the contact name, and lastly, the grandchild object, which is our health condition. Now let's see if it filed appropriately under each contact. Here we see both Dwight and Angela under the Schrute family, and when clicking on each individual contact, it shows their respective health conditions. Well, 
That concludes our builder's blog for creating a secure health information form in Forms for Salesforce Native Cloud. Be sure to request a demo to learn more.